I'm Matt. And I'm Talia. I'm Mary Patterson. Hey, I'm Liz. I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And we are reading tweets that are mean. Very, like about the entire South. You're yeah. just trying to lump us all into one category and make jokes on the internet about it and for a living? You think you're us or something? Why do Southerners love to add sugar where sugar doesn't belong? Where does sugar not belong? It belongs in your Kool-Aid, your sweet tea, not in your cornbread. Steak, your mashed potatoes. I'm gonna go home right now, I'm gonna make a salad with all the terrible ingredients in my fridge, and then I'm gonna throw sugar on top just to spite this oh, tweet. yeah, like a thick gritty glaze. Yeah, oh yeah. Here's my question of the day. Where does sugar not belong? Yeah, cornbread. Legally required to say that as an employee of its southern thing. Okay, wait, it doesn't go in grits. That's gross. That's true. What do we put in sugar in that you're upset about? Yeah. Sugar makes things taste better. And just say no sugar or don't eat it, you know? Like, why are you stealing our joy? Exactly. Southerners love to say, I'm not mad, I'm just aggravated, while steam is literally coming out of their ears. Yeah. We do do that. Do do. We do that. <laughs> I think it's because we're uh, very passive aggressive down here. We don't like confrontation, so we'll just like skirt our way around it. We'll tell everybody else we're mad, but we're skirt <laughs> out of that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard someone say, I'm not mad, but I'm just aggravated. But if someone is aggravated, I know exactly what they're feeling. I, I think my mom said that because that sounds very familiar to me. And yeah. I don't know. I think that's a nice way to say, like, we don't want to, we don't want you to feel bad like you made us mad, but we're yeah. a little bit perturbed. We're yeah. just a little, we're just we're a little, little perturbed, aggravated, you know? Yeah. If someone said this to you, you probably need to get the hell out of Dodge because they are aggravated and they are mad and they're just trying to warn you to not continue on the dumb thing you're saying, so. Southerners love to use latinin' as a verb. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, like, it's latinin' out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that's I say cute. That. Yeah. yeah, I think that's real cute. Can yeah. we, is that not a thing? Yeah, what are you supposed to say? Like, it's, there is lightning out there? James Spann would never just say, oh, there is lightning outside, go on about your day. No, it's lightning outside. It's yeah. urgent. Get out of the pool. It's adorable that yeah. we do that. It's Why are you cute. complaining? White people in the South love to add the word plum before an adjective. Well, that's just plum awful. Yeah, I'm plum tuckered out is my favorite way to use plum. I don't hear like younger people use that a lot. That's a, a me and papa would use plum a lot. And it's just adorable. I don't think I've ever said this. I don't think I have either. But it is very funny. But it sure did make me chuckle. Um, well, well, that's just plum awful. <laughs> well, that is just plum. Well, she's just, she's just plum cute as button, isn't she? Oh, man. Um, I, I wish I heard that more often, yeah, personally. Me too. What really gets me about this one is you can hear the two old ladies in the gas station and one's telling like a really bad situation. The other one has nothing to add and she just ends it with, well, that's just plum awful. That's just plum awful. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that might, there might be a little truth in that. What is the opposite of plum awful? Apple great. <laughs> People in the South love naming their kids after verbs. Cutter, hunter, scraper, gunner, archer. Hunter, I went to school with about 37 hunters. Love the name Hunter. Hunter's a good name. Oh yeah, gunner. Uh, gunner's, okay, okay, gunner's yeah. fine. Archer. Um, Archer Scraper Scra is not a thing. I'm sorry. I've never heard of a child You've named Scraper. You've never met a kid named Scraper. <laughs> I know at least three kids with those names. <laughs> I know, I for legit know three of those kids. And they're wild. They're little hellions. My stepbrother's name is Hunter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he is a hunter. Also, I've never heard these names other than like Archer and Hunter, maybe. I've never met Cutter Joe. If we were truly naming our kids after verbs, we'd name them Lightning. Yeah, there we go. People in the South love burning piles of wood for no reason. There's always a reason, that okay. A reason. The reason is you're either clearing brush, you're clearing your property. You're trying to stay like, warm? Yes. If you're gonna go outside and hang out like in the summer and you think it's already so hot, why would you do that? But the smoke from the fire keeps the insects away. Mm. So. And who doesn't love roasted marshmallows? Yeah. But here's the thing about it, like everybody's gonna kind of show off that they know how to like treat the fire, you know? Like oh, everybody's gonna yes. show they're like, oh yeah, let me just put some wood on the fire, some more wood yeah. on that, let me just move it around. Yeah, and then there's the one guy who's a designated poker. That's his only job is to just jab at the wood logs a little bit. It's primal. Yeah. Gets the people going. <laughs> nothing, nothing wilder than a fire, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now if this was talking about burning like leaves in mm -hmm. a can, I'd, I, I would I would understand 
My parents live in a place um, that is kind of unincorporated, and so there are no uh, like HOA laws mm -hmm. or anything in this town. Um, so people be burning, burning all kinds burning, of stuff. Every, burning tires, burning leaves, burning but whatever they can get their hands on. Wood is like on. the primary thing you burn. Right. So. Burning piles of wood, yeah, that's called yeah. a bonfire and it's fun. And that's the reason. Yeah. People in the South love getting married in barns. I can't say anything in this wood. I went to like five weddings this past year in it's barns. True. <laughs> but you can clean that up, you know? Like barn is a nice big kind of open space. It's easy to put a lot of chairs in. You put a little some string lights across the top. You have yourself a nice rustic venue. And then you can charge people to come to that venue over and over and over again and get married. And then you have a wedding venue. And, and it's just a barn, but it's nice. This is a generalization. I have been to a wedding in a barn, and guess what? It was beautiful. Yeah. I loved it. I've been to several. Did you get married in a barn? No, but I have been to more weddings in barns than I have in churches or anywhere else. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, when you go to one of these barn weddings and they do a really nice job decorating it, and, and they got a good DJ, they got good music playing, they got good drinks, it's a fun time. I dare you to find a more enjoyable wedding than a, a wedding out in the country where everybody's there to have fun. You can't drink beer in a church. That's a good point. Unless you get married in certain churches, denominations, you can't have alcohol. It's just, it's just ceremony. There's a reason we go out in the woods. That way nobody finds us and tells on us. Is. Exactly. <laughs> I've noticed people in the South love plastering stickers all over their vehicles. I don't know if this is uh, no, That's a Southern thing. I, I think that's a, a stretch. Yeah, I feel like there's lots of people that love plastering stickers all I, over the vehicles. I see that everywhere, so. Our producer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually am weird about my car. I don't like putting stickers on it, but I do, all my friends have stickers on their I cars. used to put stickers all over my car. Is that just a South, a Southern thing? I don't thing? think that's the Southern thing. Is it? Like, it's like a music fan thing. There are just sticker people out there and you know the sticker people when you see them. They they get into that one indie band and they are like, oh, I'm going to support this and now everyone is gonna know my personality on the back of this Kia Soul. People in the South love being able to get sliced tomatoes as a side and it's unclear why. Okay, recall unclear. to grits and biscuits. Mm -hmm. You haven't had it right mm. because a really ripe, delicious southern tomato so is a side. It just needs so a little good. bit of salt and pepper. Maybe you're not eating it with the right stuff. Maybe that's why everyone up north is so angry all the time. Y'all aren't getting good food. Yes, the, the true key to happiness is just a good tomato. We know what to do with tomatoes, that's why. All right, come down here, we'll show you what to do with the tomatoes. Yeah, stop wasting your tomatoes and just give them to us. We'll handle it from here. A summer sliced tomato as a side. If it's offered to you and you don't want it, I'll take it. Yeah. People in the South love to park in their yards and it drives me crazy. It's cause we ain't got nowhere else to park. Here's the thing, if I have any, if I have more than two cars, like people that come over to my house, somebody's gonna probably end up parking in the yard. That's just because we don't have street parking where I live. Like, and a lot of people don't that live in the country. The streets are like, in some places aren't wide enough for like two cars to even pass each other. Mm -hmm. So you can't park on the street. Like again, where I grew up, this is just run of the mill right. everyday kind of thing. However, um, there is one of my parents' neighbors um, is essentially operating a um, illegal used car lot <laughs> out of their yard. And so they'll just collect old cars and they've just got prices like written on them in window marker. And that, they're just parked sad. out in the yard. Because again, this is like unincorporated Alabama. <laughs> People in the South for the life of them can't pronounce queso, but Marlboro happens to roll right off the tongue with ease. Queso is a Southern thing. Mm -hmm. Of course we pronounce it right. Yeah. Who's pronouncing it wrong? What Wh would you say? What's the wrong way to say it? Queso? Quest queso? No, I've never heard anybody pronounce it any other way than queso. Okay. That is false. Yeah, I can say queso just fine. Marlboro yeah, I... is not. I had asthma as a kid, I can't smoke, so I can't say it either. Marvel. 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 We also just say cheese dip. Yeah, well, we don't say queso. Well, you're getting a little overzealous over here. I'd also like to say queso. Marlboro. I can't say that. Marlboro. Marlboro. I have a little bit of a list with those. Mar so Marlboro. I need Marlboro. L's and B's and O's together. I'm gonna say disagree, hard yeah, disagree. This one's not true. This one you pulled out of the sky to try to get some likes yeah. on Twitter. Good try. Nice try. 
What have we learned today? I have learned nothing. I think a lot of this took away from my knowledge. I mean, a lot of them were like accurate, but like mm -hmm. we don't know why they're a bad why thing. Why it's a bad thing, yeah. right. I would say that maybe 60% of these are accurate. Yeah, maybe. Um, and, and if it is accurate, it's endearing if you ask me. Yeah, I think so. This has been We Read Your Tweets. Y'all can do better. We read your plum awful tweets. They could have been apple grater. <laughs> If you like this video, we would love it if you liked and subscribed and joined the Pop Club, which is... It's a Southern Things exclusive membership program. You can get behind the scenes stuff for Dis videos like this. Yep. Discounts on merchandise. merchandise. Some exclusive, exclusive swag. You can pitch jokes to put in our scripts. That's like one of the coolest things That's about the That's very fun, yes. Yeah. So, if you want to continue to support us, that is a really great way to do that. If you want us to keep making videos, please support us and join the potluck. Join the potluck.